about me making you feel fabulous for summer. It's a two week challenge. It's going to be suitable for everyone. And I'll tell you why, because we're going to bring in, in you come. We're going to bring in that person there. They're going to show you an easy variation. I'm going to show you the more challenging one. So it's suitable for everyone. So if you're ready, I'm ready now to start training you. Okay, so let's get started. Move one. We're just going to do this as a warm up. So this is really light. So as I said, we've got 14 moves today, including this one. I've designed it so it is a full body. It is going to get you amazing results. And I've set this as a really fun challenge. You've got a little download booklet that you can follow along to. Now, just see how we're just going to make those arms a little bit bigger. Take that step in front a little bit deeper. This is just part of our warm up. Then we'll go straight into the second move. That's good. Now, just take the arms out. Good, so we're just mobilising through all those joints. Let's just finish off taking the arms in front, step it behind. So for the second move, is going to be a full body sweep. And I'm going to show you an easier one and a harder one. So you just work to what suits you. Okay, so let's get ready. Move number two, just start with doing the legs. Then when you're ready, bring in the arms. So you can see, I'm taking my foot behind and I'm circling around with the arms. That's good. All right, so we're doing this one for 60 seconds. Now the benefit here, I'm activating through your abs. I'm working your arms. It's a full body move. So we're increasing your calorie burn. Make that move as big and dynamic as you can. We're not doing any repeaters today. So for every move, give me 100%. And remember, if you want something easier, you just follow the other option. All right, that's good. And you can see here, we're not doing any jumping, but this really gets the heart rate up. Nice, big, dynamic arms with that. Keeping that going, doing really well. Last couple seconds coming up. Now, nearly now, now. And that is move two, done. Okay, so for the next move, feet are shoulder width distance apart. Knees are slightly bent. We're gonna do a deep squat and an ab pull. So squat down for me, come up and now squat. Now hold it here and pull that arm back as far as you can. Bring it back. Take it to the opposite side. Now squat low, hold, come up. Squat low, hold, come up. And now draw that arm back. So we're really activating through the waist. Let's keep that going. Squat low, come up. Squat low, make sure those knees don't come over the line of the toes. Pull that arm back and in front. Take it to the opposite arm, keep those hips in front. Squat that low, coming up. Squat it low and up and draw the arm back, pull it back and really, really keep this move nice and controlled. Feel every muscle that you're working. This is a total body workout and we are going to really get amazing results. Keep going and let's pull the arm and pull and then just release. The next move, let's get ready. This time now we are going to be doing a travelling forwards knee lift. So we do double knees for four counts and then we're just jogging back. All right, let's go three, two, one. So one, two, travel it. One, two, one, two, another one. One, two, and now take it back. All right, then take it. One, two, go one, two, one, two, one, two, and then take it back. Fast feet back. One, two. So this one is a really so good for those abs and cardio as well. So keep that going. So it's knee drive, double lifts. One, two, one, two, and then take it straight back and keep that going. All right, that's good. And double knee. Keep those abs tight as you draw that knee up and then take it back. And again, one, two, go one, two, one, two. Give me another one and then take it back and then straight up. All right, that's good. Keeping that going and then jog that back. So that's that move done. 
Okay, so for the next one, take your arms up. We're gonna do a pull down arm curtsy. Arms here, and now we're just gonna pull down and come straight back up. Pull down and straight back up. That's good. And what's really important, make these moves as dynamic as you can. So really pull those arms down. Take that to that nice deep bend. All right, that's good. So how this works is I have put together for you a little downloadable booklet on this two week challenge of mine. So what I'm stressing you do is you do this workout for five days. You get a little um, printable tick chart so you can tick it off once you've done it. Then I suggest another workout to do on day six, day seven, then you come back and do this for the second week. I've got lots of healthy and living tips and ways that you can measure your progress. This is gonna make you feel fabulous for summer. All right, we're nearly done on these and it's all completely, utterly free, of course. All right, and last little bit and let's just go one more. All right, well done. Okay, so for the next move, this time I want you to stand with those feet slightly wider than shoulder width distance apart. Have your arms in front, actually at a slight angle, so not chest height, a little bit higher. And what we're going to do, we're just going to simply step back. And let's get ready. Three, two, one. So step that back and come back up to standing. Step it back and back up to standing. So really imagine you are drawing your shoulder blades together. Imagine you are pulling something down that's really heavy. All right, focus on where we're working. We're also working obviously through the lower body. I'm just gonna show you from the side. All right, so we're just keeping those abs tight and just lunge it back. Keeping that going, we're halfway through. Another time you do this workout, once you've heard me give you the tutorial, the instructions, next time you can just mute the sound and just have on your favorite music because you can see the timer. So literally you just follow me. All right, that's good. Keep it going and lunge it back lower for me. Doing really well. Nice dynamic move. Pull those arms back and take in front. Squeeze it back. And guess what? We are done. So we're going to really up that calorie burn now. This one, simply run for one, two, three, four. Then give me four squat jumps. All right, let's go. Three, two, ones. Take it. One, two, three, four. And now squat it. One, go two, go three, and four. And then take it. One, two, three, four. And let's go. Four, three, two, and one, and then one, two, three, four, and squat, one, two, three, four, doing well, keep going, one, two, three, four, and squat, four, let's go, three, two, and one, and go, one, three, four, and squat, one, two, that's good, three, four, and take it, one, two, four, and let's go, four, take it, three, two, and one, and remember, if you find it too hard, do the other one. And let's go four, three, two, and one, and two, three, four, let's finish on four squats. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. So for the next one, this is an amazing move. I use it near enough in all the workouts. Literally, we are gonna do a real powerful drive. Drive it up and back, all right? So take one leg behind, let's go. Three, draw it up and back, draw it up. I'm gonna let you know halfway through. So really nice, big power. And if you wanna work it harder, take it faster. Go lower, that's good, keeping that going. And so the beauty of this one is, you're working through your arms, you're working through your abs, you're working your standing leg. We're working the most important muscle of all your heart. Let's get ready now, just switch it to the other leg, take the other leg behind and drive that up, drive it up. Think about how fabulous you want to feel this summer. And it doesn't matter if it's just wearing shorts and a t-shirt, this is about you just feeling good in your body because your body is feeling healthy, fit and strong. It doesn't have to look a certain way, it just has to feel what's best for you. All right. 
we are now done on that one. This next move is amazing, but it's a tough one, but then so are you. So with this one, we literally kick up and then jog back. All right, we're gonna do 30 seconds one leg, then 30 on the other. So let's get ready, three, two, one. Kick that up for me, jump it back, kick it up and jump back, kick up, jump back, that's good. So this one here, we are working everything massively, calorie, heart, also glutes, thighs, it's amazing for your balance, your flexibility, keeping that going. It's a really tough this, but well done. And remember, if you find these moves too hard, that's why you can try the alternatives. And let's change. Take that to the other leg, kick it up, jump it back, kick it up, jump it back, kick it up, jump it back. So if you really hate this one as much, as I dislike spiders, then remember, just do the other move. You pick the moves. If there's some that you really don't like, because you're doing this for the next 14 days, then choose the move you prefer. Oh my goodness, it is tough, but we're all about results. And we are done. Woo. Just doing a sweat check-in with you. I'm literally dripping. Right, next move is a really fun one. We are gonna do 15 seconds where we're doing fast feet and rolling arms, then 15 seconds where we're running up a ladder. All right, so let's get ready. Three, two, and one. So fast feet, but rolling arms, keeping that going. So after 15 seconds, imagine, then we're gonna be sprinting up a ladder. So keeping that going. You are doing really well. It's a really tough workout. You should be so proud of yourself. So let's get ready. Let's now imagine we're running up a ladder. Run, 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 run. Keep that going as fast as you can. So really, really now, I'm working my favorite muscle of yours, which is your heart. All right, bring it back to those circling arms for me. Fast feet, fast feet, keep it going. Keeping that going. That's good, doing really well. And keep those elbows nice and high for me. And let's get ready. Let's race up that ladder, fast as you can. Fast, fast, fast. Who's gonna get to the top? The fastest. I reckon it's gonna be you. And we are now done on that move. Whew. So for the next move, this one, we're gonna reach down, come down, then hold it here, and then draw that knee over. Take it down and come back up. So I'm really working your waist. So let's get ready, arms in front. So now reach it down, come up and now bring that knee over and back take it down come up so really keep those abs pulled in as tight as you can for me so i'm actually really see how bad my balance is working your core so we're coming down and then we're coming up reach up over that was a cat's tail that you just saw fly by and back Take that over and back. Change legs now. So now take it down, come up, and now reach that knee across. And the slower you do it, the harder we're working. And you will find you'll have one side you have better balance on than the other. And over these two weeks, you will notice that this improves. All right, that's good. Well done, doing really well. Reach that over. Let's go one more of each. Take it down, coming up, and draw that across. Well done. So let's get ready. Let's come into position. So imagine you're just punching something down, and let's just go from one side to the other starting now. So as I said, I want you to stick at this challenge for two weeks, 14 days. It's nothing. Think about what it's going to do for you. It's going to make you healthier and fitter. It is going to strengthen your bones. It's going to improve your heart health. It is going to get you in fabulous shape. You are going to feel super confident for summer. So just make that move a little less dynamic for me. And then for our last minute, we're going to do a little bit of stretching. So as said, this is a full body workout. It is tough. And I remember if you're having one day where you're not feeling as energetic, you can follow the lower option. You know, you've got these two different intensities. All right, that's good. So let's just reduce the speed. Don't take it as low. 
for me. That's good. And what we're going to do, we're just going to keep now. I want you just to stay with me. Just march on the spot. Now, we're going to be doing this as part of the workout. So take a deep breath in for me. And now breathe out. Deep breath in. And now breathe out. Now, just do a little tap back. After four, we're going to hold it. Four, let's go three two and one now hold that there just so you're getting that stretch through the calf muscle and just do pull through with those arms so we're just keeping that body moving and now just lean a little bit further in i really want to make sure that you can feel that stretch through those calf muscles for me all right well done let's now take that to the other leg step it behind and now let's just do some bicep curls just while we're stretching it out so feel that stretch right there in that calf muscle if you can't feel it step it in a little bit deeper all right that's good and what i want you to do now is now come up this time now take one leg in front hamstring and now let's lift and down lift it up and down so bring those toes up but really feel the stretch through the back of the upper thigh and lift lift it up and back that's good keeping that going really feel that stretch and now let's take it over supporting leg is bent so we might just be going a little bit over on time but we're nearly finished today and lift that up and really really focus on feeling that stretch through that hamstring if you can't stick that bottom further out for me all right that's good and now coming up this time now use a wall if you need to for balance take that one leg up feel that stretch if you can let's just go for doing arms take the arm out and in squeeze it out and in that's good keeping that going so make sure this leg's bent feel that stretch through here tummy stays tight so i'm going to leave a link in the description what I want you to do is go and download. It'll take you straight to my website. It'll tell you how to do it. It's a really lovely little PDF ebook. It's going to inspire you. It's going to give you tips, everything you need. This is about you feeling fabulous this summer. This is the hashtag to use. This is where to tag me. Let's all do this together. Come and find me on Facebook, Instagram. Let's take those arms in front now just hold that there feel that lovely stretch through the top of your upper back holding that there so yeah come up and find me let me know how you're doing on this challenge remember this is about you simply feeling your best take your arms behind for me let's do a little bit of a toe tap feel that stretch through there and so tag me let me know on that challenge. And as I said, definitely go and print the download because there's the fun little smiley chart. You need to read that and find out what that's all about. Then I've got all my helpful blogs. Let's just finish it off. Tricep stretch, take the arm across, hold that there, feel that all through here. Well done. Okay, holding that, that's really good. And do let me know in the comments um, how you get on with this challenge. That's good. And as said, on days where you're feeling a bit tired, simply do the easy one. Now, here is where you click to go and get your 14-day plan for this two-week challenge. So let's do it. As your online trainer, I'm going to get you feeling fabulous for summer. And you and I always finish on this. There's your big, super high five, because today's one was super hard and if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you're not already hit subscribe and i'll see you back here tomorrow to do this workout again ciao for now